What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Philip20, and I'm back. I'm flashing my fingers in front of the camera. All right, so I want to talk to you something. Uh, it's a lot different than what's pretty much typical. Uh, there's no camera overview, which is not really important for what we're doing. So what we're going to talk about is port forwarding, which obviously you've already clicked on it. Port forwarding is a way to allow the internet protocol that's internal attached to the external network so let's talk about what you're going to do with port forwarding let's say you got a gaming console or a server that you need to run port forwarding on first you need to make it a static ip address there's many different ways to make your playstations xboxes and servers to make them static ip addresses so for your playstations you're going to go in the network menu and you're going to uh, go through the advanced section and you're going to build a uh, static ip which is pretty simple there's a lot of people that's made videos on it if you need me to make a video on this contact me and let me know uh what you need i've got playstation 4s here um, that we could do and servers here that we could do as well so i can do ubuntu or windows static ip address or playstation which uh, uh if you needed but just uh, leave a comment in the section below so we're going to talk about port forwarding yeah i use brave and i'm making money while making money so what we've got here is our netgear nighthawk x6000 r x6 r8000 and what we want to do is port forwarding and we got a service name that we can use uh this is just a name it really doesn't mean anything i could use http because i'm not going to have an ssh secure key and you can see here this site is not secure this is my personal router it's a gaming router but if you could also change the name to uh, something else by clicking on add custom service uh, so with the custom service you can change the name you remember how it, it showed http blah 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 so i'm just going to call it server which it really doesn't matter and then we're going to show the ports that we're trying to move okay so what we got here is uh, a list of a lot of uh, ip addresses running right now i got a bunch of computers running and uh, what we've got here is the external port range and the internal port range will match the external port range as well on this so let's say you wanted to do uh, port 80 and port 443 and all, all the way in between you would uh, do port 80 dash 443 or if you only wanted to i believe you'd uh, just do port 80 and do another protocol with it as well so let's say we was doing seven i don't know what's on seven it's a it's a galaxy watch so let's say you was doing you know seven okay now what's happening is with port 80 and all the way through port 443 this is allowing the internet access to most in and out traffic so traffic from outside is going to be able to access traffic from the inside and then use the same port range for internal port let's say you know there's reasons why you wouldn't want to do this but we're that's for another video so we're talking about our ip address you would want both of them basically the same um for what we're talking about like if you're running a server that's like uh, minecraft or whatnot so uh you're gonna have those ports available and let's say you didn't want those ports available to people in the network uh that's like in the building then you would turn these ports off i'm supposing i could be wrong about that i'm not an expert i'm just trying to help uh other people that may need a little help this has worked for me what i'm talking about so we got port seven uh, our uh, port 80 all the way through 443 and our IP address for our watch, which is, would pretend to be our server. We would not want to open up these ports unless you're really building a workstation server and you plan on actually setting it up to be a secured network with uh, SSL. So you're going to go ahead and uh, click apply. Our name of our service is server. 
So you remember how I showed uh, service name over here? It's server, and you can add one that's unrelated name. It's just got a quick menu. I call this a quick menu. And you know, quick one and two. We're gonna add port uh, 22 as well. But quick menu has already prepared this port for that specific application. So an HTTP will also add those ports that you need as well. But the reason why the HTTP didn't work is because we had a port conflict previously with this server. So we del deleted this one. We can open up the HTTP and then the network 7. And then it opens up this one at port 80. There we go. So some would be just port 80, which is HTTP, which is an insecure server, and that allows you to connect uh, everything. But if you wanted to edit this and then edit service, and then you wanted to add dash 443 to that, then it would open up to uh, other servers like SSL. So you'd be able to connect SSL, and then that would help you out. I could be totally wrong about this, and I apologize if I am. But hey, this is uh, this one's how I got connected my one of my servers externally. So I just closed them because I don't have a reason to have a network externally. I just think it's best to keep my firewall up. But I'll see you guys next time. This is Philip Twenty with Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics. Peace out.